excited about the restrictions being lifted. Aaron Parsegian joining us now with a look at how some businesses are navigating these changes. Aaron. Yeah, for some industries, Tuesday will bring back a sense of normalcy. But for others, mainly the service industry, it's not going to change much in the short term. This Tuesday is more than a year in the making. Michigan businesses are going back to operating without any pandemic-related restrictions. Certainly we're excited um, to get back to some normalcy and visiting with uh, our clients, which is a core of what we do as veterinarians. At the vet's office, it means a more personal visit for you and your pet. We're allowing more than one person, unmasked uh, or masked if they prefer, uh, coming to their appointment. So we're getting pre-pandemic times pretty much back to back to some normalcy in the veterinary hospital. But in the service industry, normalcy could still be a few months away. While bars may be able to get back to bringing a normal amount of revenue in, staff shortages could keep restaurants from opening fully back up. Whether it was tomorrow or July 1st, or what we're talking about now is, is probably early fall. Um, we, don't, we don't have 100% capacity in the cards, or we don't, we don't believe we do anyways. Chris Finaro is the director of operations at All In Hospitality Group, which owns several popular Grand Rapids eateries. It's really important to us that we control what the next couple of months look like and uh, not put, put our guests or our staff in a position where, um, you know, they're overwhelmed or... It, with, with regards to our guests that they don't have a great experience when they're here. In the meantime, their focus will be on hiring more staff and delivering the best service they can to a limited number of customers. You know, our, our staff has done a tremendous job to this point, but it, it's been much challenging than I think the service industry has ever been, especially in my career. This is some of the toughest days have been um, have really been this summer. So just be patient, be kind, be understanding. But we really appreciate anybody that's thinking about coming in dining with us. And Chris says they are hiring at all their locations, including Donkey Talk Korea, which you saw in that video. They hope to be ready for 100% capacity this fall.